Settings, part three, where we last left off was right here. We were at this window. Now we have editing time base. It can't be edited. Why can't I, I don't have a drop down menu here? I, I can't change it. Well, that's because I captured the footage with the presets. It's already, it's already, you know, it's already made this way. I, if I wanted to, I could probably go into, let's see, I can't even go into load, load sequence preset. Oh wait, yes I can. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to mess up my file. Easiest thing to do is, if you need to do all this manually, is to come over here, right click, new sequence, click on this guy, right click, settings, and then you know, in our new one, we can pick whatever we want. We can make this whatever the heck we want. We can come over here and make this uh, 720. We can make it regular DV. We can make it anamorphic. We can make it not anamorphic. We can do the HD, whatever HD we want. The reason why, I mean, there's all these settings you can do manually, but there's a reason why when you capture, there's presets so that all this is done for you. But sometimes you might need to go and experiment and change things around. Now you saw before that it's not actually 30. Now if you record in 60i, you know, 1080 60i, if you're, if you're recording in this guy right here, which is what, you know, your, your camera tells you you're recording in, you might be a beginner, you might think, okay, it's 30 frames a second, but it's really this one. And to tell exactly what it is, what you've captured, go back to before, come over to here, right click, settings, and see, make a mental note of what it is. And if you gotta manually change your sequence settings, match it up. Try and match up everything in this window with everything in this window. Take a look at everything. You might need to write some stuff down. You might need to know. So you wanna make sure, if you can't do it automatically with the new Final Cut, Make a mental note of all this. You can even take a snapshot if you wanted to. For those of you who don't know how to take a snapshot with your, with your uh, computer, Apple, Shift, ooh, this is gonna be tough, four, okay? And then you can see my cursor here has turned into a little like crosshairs. Go to the top here, go to the bottom here, and then boom, I've got a snapshot. I'll even show you where that, well, I don't have to show you where it is. Actually, I can try. Running out of battery life, almost done. Let's get rid of this. So there's a JPEG, double clicked it, and there's my picture. All right, so my batteries on my camera is about to die. I should have changed it, I forgot to, I was about to. But um, anyway, so there you go. There's how to manually do everything you need to do. Uh, hopefully you don't need to do this. Hopefully if you have the new Final Cut, and hopefully it'll just all be beautiful. If you have any requests, anything you need to know, please, Message me, comment me, whatever you got to do. Um, talk to you later. Bye-bye.